All right, so let's uh, work on actually getting some measurements uh, for this module. Uh, the folks of this module will be measuring the X and Y locations of these holes from the origin, so from here to here, here to here, and so on for all these holes, and also the diameter for each hole. Okay, we're going to start hole one here and work our way through each one of these. I will probably do the first two and then allow you to do, uh, complete the rest. So we will end up with a list of features and a list of characteristics. All right. So let's work through this. Down here, uh, define select geometry. Go to define circle on a cylinder. Click that. Then select somewhere in this first cylinder. Now it is critical where you select will be the z-depth for that circle. So just click right there and you will see circle 1 appear. That is the z-depth where the probing will occur. You'll see it is not green. We need to double click. And circle 1 is lower left. The strategy by default circle scan path should be fine. So we'll hit OK. Now take a look here in the features you'll see tolerance for X Y Z diameter angle 1 angle 2 depth okay among other things we're not going to worry about for now what we are going to do is we are going to tolerance and give characteristics automatically for X and Y location okay the nominal is there so that's fine we're programming to a model so that's nominal the only thing I want to change is let's say the tolerance is plus or minus 5 so we'll change this to uh, five thousandths and make sure you have a minus here that's very critical I will change this to five thousandths and the same thing down here okay now the identifier is going to be what it's called in the feature list so we'll just leave it as x value circle one y value circle one that's fine Okay, so right now in the characteristics, you're going to have a nominal number. So 5 eighths plus or minus 5, half inch plus or minus 5. Again, that minus is critical. We're also going to output a diameter tolerance, and we will also do this just plus or minus 5 just to get used to changing this. And we'll just leave it diameter circle 1. That's fine for what we're doing. There's also roundness, um, true position. Uh, this is perfect, though. Right here is what we're looking for. So three check boxes, three updated tolerances. Hit OK. Once you do that, you will have characteristics. If you double click on the characteristics, you can change the nominal if you wanted to. You could update the tolerances. You could update the feature. That's fine. And that's all you got to do. So circle one is done. All right. So I'll review that again. We'll go right here, create or select geometry. I always go up through up here and do define circle uh, circle on a cylinder. We'll select circle two. Okay. I'll drag it down in the list. We'll double click circle two. We'll click the X Y and D check values okay tolerance class now if we do last input it should go to plus or minus 5 saves you a step hit OK and then characteristic for circle 2 is on now you can group these uh, if you click and hold control and click these you could right click and do form group and that'll make a group for you could say you know I'll just do an example if you do a group and rename um, if you rename the group Okay, be careful with how fast you click. If you rename the group, it can help keep you organized. So this would be circle one. So now all the information for circle one is in this group. It's just an option, just something to show you to keep you organized. Okay, we'll do the same thing for circle two. And we'll rename this as circle two. something like that you could do uh, if you want two in letters you, it doesn't matter anyway so now you'll see we save some space you want to look at that one there it is you want to look at this one here it is so now these two are uh, ready to be ran now for your assignment make sure that you submit one where all the holes are done the same way so circle one through nine um, but for right now I'm gonna go to the planner go to measurement plan simulation I'm gonna go to run everything should be good here we're gonna hit start I'll slow it down it's going to work through our plane from last week. It's going to work through these lines. And again, if you scan here, that's fine. I'm not sure where the default settings are on Citrix, so it's irrelevant. Just trying to get the basics covered here on these modules. Through that line, that was our alignment. Then we should do circle one and circle two. All right, 
That's all set. All right. Now, give it a minute. It's thinking. Okay. Now it's going to kick out a report. All right. I don't really like this standard report. I'm going to show you a simpler one. Okay. Uh, so right now on this one, um, if your screen's not locked like mine is, we'll close that window. And what I do is I go to View, Custom Printout. This is the printout you want. I do prefer this one. Uh, the other one's fine. It's just this is the one I use for most of the grading I do and most of the work I do. So there's your XY. You could rename these. That's fine. But there's everything. It's all going to be green because it's inspecting the model and it's theoretically perfect. Um, when you go to load this in the machine, then you'll start getting your um, actual numbers changing. Okay, so you have actual value, nominal value, tolerance, and the deviations. All right, so for your assignment, finish the remaining holes. So you have circles one through nine. Run it and uh, submit it for grading. All right, thanks.